Hello children, I am Smita, your English teacher from Mangala Vidya Mandira. In the previous class, we had discussed about tenses and its types. In today's class, let us learn about the different types of present tense one by one. First one, simple present tense. Now, what is simple present tense? Simple present tense refers to the habits or the actions that we keep repeating or something that often happens. It also denotes the universal truths. Let's take a look at the habits or repeated actions. First, he brushes his teeth every day. He drinks coffee in the morning. I always wake up at 6 a.m. She writes a letter to her mother. All these examples denotes the actions that we regularly do and hence has become a habit. Now, simple present tense also includes the general truths. For example, the earth revolves round the sun. The sun rises in the east. The ice melts when heated. Water freezes at zero degrees. So, all these are called as universal truths. Now, coming to the next important type, that is present continuous tense. Now, what is present continuous tense? Present continuous tense describes the action that is happening now. That means, the action is still in progress. You have started an action, but not finished yet. So, the action is continuing. Let us see the structure of present continuous tense. We have the subject plus B form of the verb plus verb in ing form, which we call it as present participle, plus rest of the sentence. Let us take for example, we are studying English. Here, V is a subject, R is the B form of the verb, study is the base form for which ING is added, so you have present participle studying plus rest of the sentence. Similarly, other examples, she is reading a story book. The baby is crying in the cradle. They are listening to the music. Now, this present continuous tense can also be in the negative form. First, she is not talking. Second, they are not coming today. So, not indicates the negative form. It can also be in the interrogative form or the question form. For example, is she cleaning her house? Are they selling vegetables? Etc. Now, let us have a look at the next important type, which is Present perfect tense. Now, what is this present perfect tense? Present perfect tense is used to express an event that started in the past and impact of the event is now continuing. It is used to express actions completed in recent past. Let us see the structure of present perfect tense. We have subject plus have or has which is auxiliary verb plus Verb in the past participle form, that is ed form, plus rest of the sentence. You know that ed is the past participle of the base form of the verb. For example, he has collected the stamps. They have purchased a car. She has opened the jar. I have seen the movie. In the first example, he has collected the stamps. He is the subject. Has is the auxiliary verb. Word collected is the past participle of the base form of the verb collect. And then we have the rest of the sentence. The present perfect tense can also be in the negative form. For example, we haven't spent all our money. She hasn't cooked the food, etc. It can be in the question form. For example, has he eaten my sandwich? Have you bought a new car? Etc. Now, coming to the next important type, which is called as present perfect continuous tense. Now, what is this present perfect continuous tense? Present perfect continuous tense shows that something that started in the past is continuing at the present. Look at the structure of the present perfect continuous tense. We have the subject plus usage of auxiliaries that is has or have plus been plus verb in ing form that is present participle of the main verb 
plus rest of the sentence. Take for example, he has been playing tennis. He is a subject, has is the auxiliary verb and then there is usage of been plus adding ing to the base form play, so playing plus rest of the sentence. Next example, she has been singing a song. They have been listening to the teacher. I have been talking to my mother. Now all these examples shows that action has started in the past and is continuing at the present. Now it can also be in the negative form. For example, you have not been eating well. They have not been collecting money, etc. It can be in the question form. For example, has she been reading the lesson? Have they been correcting papers, etc. I hope you have understood today's class. Let us go through a few questions. Now this is for your home assignment. The first question, how are simple present tense different from present continuous tense? What is present perfect tense? Give two examples of present perfect continuous tense. What is the structure of present continuous tense? Give two examples of simple present tense. Now answer them in your book and send it through WhatsApp. Thank you, children.